the electoral campaign is in full swing in Abidjan, Ivory Coast's biggest city. In a few days, more than 6 million voters are expected to go to the polls and vote for the next president. Incumbent President Alassane Ouattara is running for his second five-year term and is widely seen as the front-runner in the upcoming elections. He has the support of the PDCI, one of the country's biggest political parties, and boasts of a fast-growing economy under his presidency. Tairou Ouattara says he supports Ouattara because of what he did for the country over the past five years. He built a third bridge in Abidjan. He gave Ivory Coast drinkable water, electricity and social security. He also made roads. The poll is crucial for the country after post-election violence five years ago left at least 3,000 people dead. Supporters of Ouattara and then-President Laurent Gbagbo fought each other for months when Gbagbo refused to step down after losing the 2010 vote. Gbagbo was eventually toppled, arrested and is now awaiting trial at the International Criminal Court. Gbagbo's party, the Ivorian Popular Front, or FPI, is more divided than ever. Former Minister Pascal Alfien Gesson is the party's official candidate, but the ghost of Gbagbo is on everybody's lips. What made me support him is that he said he wants to get Bagbo, Simone Bagbo, and Blay Goudet out of jail. But from his cell in the ICC, Laurent Bagbo said he was not endorsing any candidate of the upcoming elections. Other candidates include former Prime Minister Charles Conambani. For weeks, his coalition, the CNC, has been repeating that conditions for free and fair elections have not been met and that the Electoral Commission is biased in favor of Ouattara. On Tuesday, he tackled the voters' list, giving some examples of alleged irregularities. This list contains double listings. I maintain my claim. I confirm it. Two other candidates have pulled out of the elections, also accusing the Electoral Commission of bias. The Commission has said its priority is calm elections. Emilia from VUA News in Abidjan.